What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video with Coach Kyle here. Today we're gonna to be giving you our top five tips on how to lose a bunch of fat without being super hungry while being in a calorie deficit. Let's jump right into it. Before we jump into number one, it's important to know there is different levels of being lean. To lose fat generally, you don't need to be starving. You can put yourself in a slight deficit and do it over time. If you're getting ready for a show or you're getting super lean for a photo shoot like me here, I'm gonna have a lot less food to work with. Think of it like money. If you're really rich, um, you're someone who's already pretty lean, you have a really high you know, metabolism, you're out doing a lot of things, you're gonna be able to eat more food. If you're someone who's inactive, you have a history of being overweight, you might have to eat a little bit less. So it is possible you will be a little bit hungry, um, but there is different tiers to this journey and that brings us into number one which is food selection you know know how many calories you have available really find that amount that puts you in a deficit so start by finding your maintenance and start to eat a little bit less than your maintenance if your scale is going down you are in a deficit the state if the scale is staying the same chances are you are not in a deficit it can be no more nuanced and complex than this but this is a good little precursor to everything but if you have less calories to work with it's really important you eat good hearty healthy foods and that's number one that's food selection by eating good filling foods as a, and avoiding you know really sugary basic foods or foods that are high in trans fats um, you're gonna feel more satiety foods with more fiber are gonna help you have more energy eating a high protein diet is gonna help you have more energy and retain more lean muscle so it's important that when you are in a deficit you aim to eat a little bit cleaner you can still work on those fun foods but I wouldn't make them the core of your diet so jumping into number two obviously like Josh was saying like planning ahead is absolutely so huge and I find a lot of people when they're super hungry they kind of just grab things here and there right and not only is it uh, poor eating decisions in terms of just things that aren't going to fill them up properly is they just don't have uh, eating patterns proper sustainable eating patterns and I'm not a fan of telling someone to eat at this time this time this time that's usually not going to work but take a look and figure out within your day when am I going to be super hungry should I eat after my workout and actually start to think about it because I'd guess more than 50% of people just kind of go about it with no plan no intention and this is super important I have a lot of calories after my workout it's when I need it some people even fasting I'm not saying it's a solution for everybody but if someone fasts that's a huge way to help you know just uh, stay satiated throughout the rest of the day and have like calories later on when they may be super hungry so once again try it out figure out what works best and just have a proper eating schedule to figure out how you can stay satiated throughout the day and not be super starving number three we have this little meme and I think it comes perfectly um, if you're someone who just eats because you're bored or you have that trouble time late at night when there's not much going on so you just want to find something to eat it's important you really analyze your hunger signaling eventually if you can transition to intuitive eating that is amazing it's not an easy thing to do but the goal should always be to eat till you're satisfied not till you're hungry not till you're full just eat the food you need not more you know even for me for instance you know it's my brother's birthday we had a cool ice cream cake you know I knew I could fit in two pieces of it I ate two and I'm just me I love food I wanted to keep eating it keeping it I'm like no I'm gonna enjoy the two pieces I had this treat I made it fit let's leave it there and I'm gonna be happier because of it it's really tough and a lot of people want to just keep eating because they think they're never going to get that opportunity again or they've broken their diet so they just want to keep ruining it but it's really important you listen to how you feel because your body is ultimate coach Alrighty, and number four one of my favorite tips that i've utilized for many many years um, within a lot of cuts is just find different ways to get low calorie options to fill you up kind of train your brain train your body into thinking you're a little bit more full okay once again there will be times where it's uncomfortable and it's very very personal depending on how big your deficit is something we'll jump into for the next point but for myself I'll always utilize different things like sparkling water like at the end of the night you know drinking some tea um, just different lower to no calorie options that are gonna give you that satisfaction I'll never forget on the screen here when I got super lean I would sometimes just bring bags of spinach and you know once again this may not be everyone's personal preference but it would fill me up give me some good veggies and just kind of give me that satisfaction of okay I feel good I don't need anything now I'm gonna wait to eat until dinner and there's just so many different strategies and just adding on to this there's a lot of things you can do to kind of allow yourself to believe um, that you're just less hungry right a lot of times people have a plate in front of them they don't even think they just scarf it down so setting your utensil down in between bites drinking a, a sip of water in between bites um, maybe even setting a timer instead of eating for two minutes maybe do 20 minutes there's so many different things once again it's not about starving yourself it's about finding ways to tell your body hey listen we don't need 4,000 calories a day we can survive on 2,000 or 2,500 and these will help you out a ton implement them and you'll see great results within your calorie deficit 
opposite. And last but not least, we've talked about this a little bit, but everyone's gonna be so different. There's gonna be a lot of people who I've helped literally lose 50 to 70 pounds, and they have not been hungry at all. And that's my goal, is to make it super sustainable, but it also depends on what you're comfortable with, what your lifestyle's like, what you're, like there's some people who are willing to go super aggressive, some people who aren't willing to go super aggressive, so that's why we always, always ask our clients, hey, What's comfortable for you? What are you willing to stick to? And a lot of times the best solution is a little bit less of a deficit, but something you can stick to for longer. So if you are someone who finds yourself super, super, super hungry, you're applying all these four tips, maybe be in a bit of a smaller deficit. Maybe it shouldn't be a thousand calories per day, maybe 300 to 500 calorie deficit per day. So that way you can stick to it longer. So that way you don't binge on weekends. So that way you can fit maybe a little bit more fun foods into your diet. But once again, everybody's so different. That's why I highly recommend online coaching and having someone hold you accountable. There's some people who come to me thinking they should be having 1200 calories when in fact they should be having 1700. They're messing up their metabolism. They're not getting the results they want. And that's why Josh and myself will be real with you. We'll give you the solution. We'll give you the blueprint. You've just got to trust us and take that leap to join our coaching program like the thousands of people who already have who've gotten great results. So hey, first link in the description, three people, only three people who want to lose 20 to 30 pounds of body fat in the next 90 days sustainably. We're looking forward to working with you as long as you're motivated and ready to put in the work and invest. Uh, we'll help you out. Cheers.